Changing heating modes on Ecodan. So on the controller, on this part of the screen, that says all our heating. Click on there. And if you want to change anything, you've got a little pen and paper in the corner. So I'm going to click on that. And then at the top it says control logic. And here is where I can change those modes. So this one here, it's mode time, is set for auto adaption. What I mean by auto adaption. So I can use either the main controller, if I take it off and put it somewhere sensible, or in this situation, I've set up with a wireless controller. So I'm going to put that somewhere sensible. Therefore, I can change the room temperature on here. So what this does here, auto adaption, it looks at the room temperature you're trying to achieve, what the current room temperature is, and it tweaks the weather compensation in the curve in the background. So the idea being is as the outside temperature changes and increases in temperature, I'm going to reduce the flow temperature. But at the same time, this is a self-learning system. So this is the most efficient way to run a system if you're running something like, say, radiators. So it's a self-learning system. That's the important bit. Second option, weather compensation. Weather compensation curve looks at the outside temperature via the thermistor on the back of the actual outdoor unit. And as the outside temperature increases, I decrease my flow temperature because losses in the building are going down. This is not a self-learning system in this situation, so we need to get that weather compensation curve correct. But we use it on things like underfloor heating and things like that, or if we wanted to have a room stat, as in a thermostat. So what I mean is something like, say for example, this, yeah? So you put on the wall, little dial, quite used to those. It's not as efficient potentially as what the auto adaption is, because it's not self-learning, but it's a good way around the problem. It's also, I say, what we tend to use for underfloor heating, where you're gonna go off to a control center, the wiring control center, which is running your underfloor heating, and you do the control that way. Third option on here, fixed flow. It doesn't tend to be very common that people are running systems on fixed flow, other than for doing, say, commissioning. Well, I want to hit a fixed flow, and it's going to sit that, that flow temperature all day long. It doesn't matter what the outside temperature is. We could do it off a thermostat if we wanted to. It's probably just not the most efficient way to run the system, but it is what I do for testing purposes. When you're happy whichever mode you put it into, all we need to do, so I put that one back into auto adaption, press the back button, and you come back to the front screen, and you'll see that there. So just a little overview. Thank you.